Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully determine why you're having an issue on your Windows computer. This is 5 gigahertz hotspot is not available. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be just to check and see if your system supports it to begin with. So in order to do that, you want to go ahead and open up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to go ahead and type in NETSH space WLAN space show and then another space drivers. So again, NETSH WLAN show drivers, hit enter. So it says that the service is not running, in which case you would have to open up the search menu, search for services in here. Go ahead and open that up. And we're gonna go down to the WLAN service. I'm gonna go ahead and start the service here. Now if we attempt to run that command one more time here. It looks like I misspelled it. All right, there's no wireless interface on the system, so obviously it's not supported on here. But in your case, what you're gonna be looking for is something that says 802.11a or 802.11ac. That would be underneath the radio type supported column. There'll be a, or I should say row, there'll be a row that says radio types supported, and there'll be a list that'll be horizontal list. You want to locate something, again, it would say 802.11a or 802.11ac. If it has either one of those, then your computer does support the 5 gigahertz network. If not, it only supports a 2.4 gigahertz network. So just want to point that out there, guys. And if you're still having a problem, something else we can try here as well. If you were to open up the search menu and type in network reset, Best match, you're going back with network reset. Go ahead and open that up. Again, assuming your system does support it, but you're having an issue with it. So it's not displaying, but your system clearly did support it, as I was just explaining a few moments ago. So this will re remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select reset now. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select yes. Close out of here. Make sure you have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby because once you restart your computer, you will need to put those back in order to get back online. So just go ahead and restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.